your laugh sounds so delicate. <laughs> no, there it was. Hold on. What was that? You said, you said what? Hold on. Delicate laugh one more time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, Rome. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. I'm so excited to hear more about you. And I'm excited to tell my story. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me why you're TikTok famous. Okay, well, I mean, I'm TikTok famous mainly because I use my family to incorporate a good time. I dance, sing, uh, comedy skits. It's really a diverse group of everything. And I've used everything that I have around me to sort of just put out content and create something out of nothing. What inspired you to create your first video? My little brother, actually. My younger brother was on TikTok. I never heard of the app. I, I, well, I kind of like heard about it, but I wasn't really thinking about it. And he asked me one day, he was like, Rome, have you ever seen this app? I think that you would be really good at it. And I was like, nah, bro, that's not for me. He was like, dude, you can sing. You're light skin. Like everything is pointing in the direction for you to just try this. And I was like, I don't know, man. He was like, you're attractive, Jerome. You got this. Just do it. Like do one TikTok and see what happens. I said, okay. So I slept on it, waited three days and I went back to college. And whenever I got back to college, I was sitting in my dorm room by myself, bored. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a TikTok. So I went out to my car, cut on the lights and I sang in my car by myself, posted the video. And then overnight, it got like 68,000 views. And to me, for no followers, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I thought I was famous right then. I was like, oh, this is it. I was like, okay, okay, this is what I got to do. So then after that, I tried dancing because I seen all the other people doing the dance videos. But I noticed that it wasn't working for me because I didn't have enough followers. So that's whenever I decided to diverge into multiple things of content now i can dance and have fun with it but i used to not be able to do that at the beginning it wasn't that easy that's insane so you currently have over almost 10 million followers how did that yes. go about how long did that take you it took me three years three years of hard work i'll tell you that much it's been a lot of ups and downs throughout the three years there's times where you just hit a mark and stay there for months at a time and then you got to find something to break that barrier and keep it pushing. Cause a lot of people just stop at a certain amount of followers and never grow after that. Their follower count stays the same. And it's all about what kind of content you put out after that pause that determines if you keep it going. And I just did my best to keep it going. They, they enjoy the family. What can I say? They like, they like my mom and dad. <laughs> well, speaking of family, I know you just welcomed a new baby. Would you no. ever want to have a family channel or incorporate your son? I think one day whenever they're able to speak for themselves and say that I will never put them on camera without their consent per se you know what I'm saying for like without them fully understanding what they're putting themselves into because it's different than like you just hopping on a random TikTok my TikTok there's gonna be 10 million people that see my child's face now that can go one of two ways very good or very bad and i hate the internet sometimes so i don't want nobody saying nothing about my kids that's the last thing i need but yes one day i feel like there will definitely be a family channel because i can already tell that my daughter and my son are interested every time the light comes on every time the ring light comes on they are immediately trying to stand right next to me during the video and do a video. So I have plenty of drafts of us doing TikToks. I've just never posted them. How many videos do you think you produce per week or per day? What's your process on that like? Right now, I uh, have currently slowed down a little bit because, you know, the baby, I've, I've had family matters and stuff like that. So with that being said, I probably put out at least three videos a week. That's good content for somebody with my amount of followers. Now, somebody with a smaller amount of followers needs to put out more consistent content on a regular basis. Somebody with a million followers needs to post every day just to keep their content growing. If you want to grow your content, you need to post every day. If you're perfectly content on where you're at, then you can post however much you want. I would say three times a week, give it a day to let TikTok do its thing and then you post the next day after that. So did you learn all of this as you were posting and doing the TikToks or did you figure yes. out a strategy along the way? How did you know? I that? actually just figured it out as I was going. It was a very hit or miss type of thing. But what I did is I figured out the algorithm and I was like, okay, well, if I can 
whenever I post a video, if within the first 500 likes, if I have more than one fourth amount of likes to video views ratio, I knew that my video had a higher chance to make it onto the algorithm and get a lot of views. The better the ratio is in the first three minutes will tell you how your video is gonna do over time. But a lot of people don't know this. And that's one thing that I noticed and it stuck out to me. So I would like, I'd post a video and I'd have 5,000 views and I have 2,500 likes. That's 50% ratio right there. That video is about to blow to the moon and get 40 million views because that's how TikTok works. It's all about the ratio within the first 10, 15 minutes of the video. They're like, oh yeah, okay, people are really enjoying it. Every other person that sees this video is liking it. Let's put it out there and let everybody see it. And I started to catch on to the algorithm and after that, it was over. What do you hope your influence can do for someone else? Well, see, I really hope that my influence can bring somebody else to wanna act like a better version of themselves. Because whenever I post things and I do things with my family, the only comments that I see that stand out the most to me are, I hope my kids are like this with me whenever I grow up, whenever they grow up. Like that's the, that's the one comment that stands out. Cause I'm like, okay, if people really enjoy what me and my family are doing and they want their family to inspire to be like that, I'm doing something right. So that that's really the only goal is to bring joy and to make people want to do better than they previously did that day before. That's the goal. That's such a great answer. Well, thank you so much for being on I've Been Influenced on Fox 13. And I wish you the best of luck with your journey. Thank you so much for having me and I appreciate it. Hey, I'm Justine Baker. Thanks for watching this episode of I've Been Influenced. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube, social media, website, and everywhere you get your podcasts. Make sure you subscribe and follow our channel so you never miss a video.